What's up everybody? It's Man Filling Farms. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're here with little cousin, cousin. G Money. G Money, G Gadson, Gadson Michael. We're, uh, what are we doing today, Gadson? We are taking this uh, field gang and putting it over there. And then yep. we are going to save that one as a spare. And that is going, we're gonna take that and put it over here. The, oh, the, yeah, we're going to take the field cultivator. I'm going to mount it back here. What, what we're wanting to do is make like a mini soil finisher. We're going to take that. When you see it, hand it. Okay. Whose hat is that? Oh, this is uh, Hillabow Farms. Established in 1901. Been a Century Farm plus 20 years. Hillbo Farms. Those of you who might be familiar with them, he's also known as Corn, Pork, and Beans on TikTok. Oh, yes. Five foot tall, monster, AKA three quarter inch thick, AKA Excalibur. the Dominator. No, 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 no. That's Excalibur. Excalibur. All right. It's the sword in the disc. Hey, quick question. When's the last time you greased that bearing? On this disc? Well, considering how little we use it, it's probably been a couple years. But guess what? Ever. The bearing didn't fail. Forever. The bearing did not fail. Forever. The hanger broke. Was it because the bearing wasn't greased and it was stiff? It, greased it broke and there. It had nothing to do with that. <laughs> this is not a highly greasable item, so this is actually no greasable item. Hey, this is Gadsden from Man Ma Family Farms. This is time from G Money Moment 1. We're going to talk about forklifts. And so you always want the wheels to be straight when you're done. And you want the forks to be touching the ground, so then... Oh, who left the forklift tines off the ground? Oh! That was dramatic. Oh, no! That's why you turned the wheel straight. That, this you is... Film that? Everybody, this is dramatic. Just don't hit my hand. i start out with... Gats and tap. Send her home, buddy. Nice. Oh, yeah. Might be able to slide it that way just a hair. Okay. Hey, why are you getting so close? Hey. Are you videoing getting me? Getting your personal space a little bit. Man. Jeez, back off, mustard. Ah. Sweet. The John Co. 1400. Hopefully, we'll make its debut this weekend. Yeah, that's the first year, second year. That's just a higher speed. Move the gang from the back to the front here because you obviously saw how jacked up that one was thanks to uh dijon mustard dijon messed it up oh yeah big time hey everybody Badger here, back with his great nephew Gadson, extending an outlet that was a little bit short in the creek. Now we don't normally do this with a joint like this, but this is what kind of the situation called for. So that's what we're gonna do. Now we'll put some glue on the inside of this baby. This outlet will be done and we'll be ready for dirt shortly. Hey everybody, this is Gadson, Dwayne's nephew and Look everybody, he my Uncle Dwayne, he just put in this nice pipe here, and it's running water. Isn't that cool? Later, see you in the funnies. Hey everybody, 
we're inside of a 4840 and it's just raining like crazy in here. <laughs> I know. Guess the condenser's got too much moisture in it. Look at that. We're mowing, look at that water <laughs> on the floor. We're mowing along the creek with my great nephew Garrison and Gadsen and we're uh, trying to get this prep for digging along here and there's hardly any water in the creek. I think we got more water in the cab. We're going to be digging some dirt out and taking some trees out, trying to make this up nice and keep this clean. Guys just saw the time lapse of us uh, taking apart the fuel elevator and we mounted it. Well, we didn't mount it. We got it placed underneath the disc. We kind of got lucky here. This whole frame is was a front and rear, and then there was a middle uh, section that's out over there. We use it for spare parts. Yep. And the spacing on it and the kind of way it shaped up was, I don't think we could have gotten any luckier with it. I hate to say it, but the thing almost looks factory. Dad, what? Comment down below. Tell us, give us some suggestions. We'll I see think Johnco 1400. That's my vote. How about What's your we, vote, Devin? Let's name it Sleeves are for Nerds. Probably yeah. Have to Probably have to pull a magnet behind it. We could just call it that's the not, baby soil finisher. <laughs> no. Johnco 1400. I'm done. <laughs> Kenny's not here, and Shane's not here, so I hope these welds hold. It's on. I see oh. you. Ba, ba. I'm starting over. So slow. You think that beat you guys? I don't know. Wow. Let's Sleep. let the viewers decide. Sleep. That's what goes off over there. Nerds. <laughs> Oh Looks boy. pretty thick in the middle. Let's see if he's Shawshank Redemption. Kind of slagged off at the end. Well, oh, sorry, Decker. I think you come in a fourth place, round robin out of four. Sorry. Get the polo jump. Get her trash, kid. I need to the Badger Reigns. Well, Katie 20 was spreading some rock out in the trenches and it decided to rain. So. That's what you call raining on the parade, but I think it's going to be short-lived. So take a break for a little bit and get back at it.
Hey everybody, Badger here. So off in this area over here where I've been spreading this dirt, this clay, the other day when it rained an inch and a half, there was a pond set here. So I'm taking some old clay that they dug out for some concrete flat work. And I'm just gonna keep laying that in there till I get rid of that pile. So enjoy. too many things but running a John Deere 333 G skid loader makes my blood pump that's like a mini bulldozer on steroids now I'd prefer an e-model without death I'm looking for one you know one you let me know let's get it Duramax time <laughs> All right, high roller, about to do a 060 in the Duramax. I won't be able to film though, because I got a stopwatch, so we'll be right back. Okay guys, you would not believe what the Duramax came in at. 15 second, zero to 60, 15 miles per gallon, never downshifted once. Now, oh, come on, come on. I got you Duramax standbys rolling with that one. Guys, here's the truth. Duramax, just over 22 seconds on the 0 to 60, just in par with the Ford and the Dodge. 9.8 miles per gallon on the trip. We're just, we're splitting hairs with everything. Every truck is built for it. If they weren't, they wouldn't be in business. Okay? Everything's a personal preference. Now, one little disclaimer there's Duramax was running 37 inch tires so could be a slight disadvantage but hey more tread more traction maybe i don't know that's going to be it for this one thanks for watching we're still working on the soil finisher comment down below what should we name it and got a bin update coming here soon so be looking out for that thanks for watching see you in the funnies